Hello. And welcome to this new video that will talk about salaries in the geographic information system sector in the United States. We will first see which states pay the most workers in the geographic information sector and then we will look at several statistical indicators that will give you an idea of what a job in geographic information systems can pay to you. To finish, I will present you how I doing this GIS salary map and with which tools. Ready? Okay. Let's go. As we can see on the map, the salaries of jobs in GIS are unequal throughout the territory. The highest salaries are mainly in the east and west of the country, while a large part of the country, especially in the center, has fairly low or average salaries. The map also tells us how many jobs are occupied in each state. We therefore note that the states where the number of employees working in the GIS sector is the largest are California, Texas, Florida, Virginia, Illinois, and Michigan. The states where GIS workers are the least present and also the least paid are the states located in the center on the line that crosses the United States from north to south, from Montana to Louisiana. Let's go in the west. The salaries of jobs in the GIS sector are very high because companies in this region have a high demand for qualified and competent workers. We have data here that allows us to understand more precisely how GIS workers are paid. The state of Washington is the one with the highest salaries in the western part of the country with, on average, salaries of $80,189. The other states are a little lower with $77,577 for Oregon and $76,538 for California. The state of California has high salaries, but many jobs are already occupied, whereas we see that in the states of Oregon or Washington, the salaries are very high, and there are on top of that very few jobs occupied for the work of GIS. When we move towards the east of the country, we first notice that the number of occupied jobs is very important, in any case much more important than in the other regions. Then we see that the average salaries for people working in geographic information systems are much better distributed. There are differences, that's for sure, but they are still smaller than in the western part. Here, the highest average salaries are for Michigan State GIS jobs with an average salary of $80,189. We also have the state of Pennsylvania with $76,538, or the state of New York with an average salary of $77,577. In the case of the eastern part of the country of the United States, it can be interesting to work in the GIS in the states of Michigan or Maine, because the wages are very high, but the occupied jobs are still rather few, and so there is less competition. If we now look at some statistics, we can see for example, that there is a difference in wages between men and women of about $5,000 per year. Indeed, men working in geographic information systems earn about $68,243 per year, while women working in this sector earn an average of $63,777. The sectors that recruit qualified people in the G.I.S. are really numerous, but some sectors offer higher salaries than others. This is the case of companies operating in the energy industry sector with an average of $87,186 per year. Manufacturing is also a good employer with $81,282 per year, and finally the maintenance sector with $76,396 on average per year. Now let's talk about making our map. To make this map, I first gathered the information I needed to deal with the subject of wage distribution in the GIS sector in the United States. I then went to Excel and matched each data with an identifier and an average salary. I saved my document and went to a simple geographic information system software, it is Magret, a free and a pencil software, but there are others. Choose the right Basimap.
integrate the data into the software. Join the Excel data to the main layer. Choose the right representation of the data. Apply Mercator Coordinate System. Choose the map color representation. Make map labels. Make job counts representation. Export map. You now know how to simply and quickly create a map with data that you have collected, processed, represented, and analyzed. Good game don't forget to leave a like if you like the video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel.